The victory of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Oshun State West Senatorial District by election, where Ademola Adelike won against the All Progressives Congress candidate Mudashiru Hussein has continued to generate reactions. This time, it is the PDP chieftain, Bode George, who has described the victory achieved as the voice of the people. He equally expressed confidence in the party's chances in the upcoming Lagos State local government election. They were tired of the lies. They were tired of Arabian Shola's uh, maneuverings and inaction. You know, it's easier to be an empty uh, critique and start firing and uh, saying all kinds of... Now they gave them the governance for eight years. Seven years, he didn't appoint commissioners. <laughs> Is this a sole trader? It shows you the lack of respect for the constitution of this country. The people in Oshun have spoken the hearts and minds of all Nigerians. And it's a starting point. There should be no wuru there. Oh. We did a bit of marketing to know which one was the best. There was this other party, Abda by uh, some of our party people too. But at that time, they, uh, they were yet to get the certificate of registration. So which means their name will not appear on the ballot paper. So we said, no, we can't deal with that. Let's look for either God or labor. And so we are with labor. Other issues of concern raised are the insecurity in the state and the flooding direct havoc on the state, a situation he attributed to infringement on the law of nature through the eco-Atlantic city and the clogged, ill-maintained drainages in the state. All the oceans, report of the United Nations yesterday said that oceans now have, have risen by 2.5 meters. You know what 2.5 meters is? <laughs> 2.5 meters. The level of the ocean has risen right across. So what are we doing? Encouraging it. We pray. We are close to equator. We are lucky that we pray there will be no tsunami here. He, however, called on Governor Akimumi Ambade to immediately correct the wrongs, insisting that scientific method of approach must be adopted for the immediate release of the abducted student of Igbunla Secondary School in Ekbe. Ambode should not leave any stone unturned without making sure his number one priority today is to get these children alive, whatever it takes. If it requires uh, the national government because there are, as a soldier, I mean, we know uh, intelligence gathering now has gone beyond just human. Satellite imagery and all those kind of things. Let him explore it. Lagos makes about 30 billion naira on uh, IGR a month. There's nothing wrong in hiring the best in the world to comb this, all the rural areas through the satellite imagery. They will get them. As a stand, one can only hope that the Lagos State Government will swing into action that will lead to the release of the abducted students. This way, their parents can heave a sigh of relief. Adinkia Woyajiboy, Super Screen News.